Hello everybody! In this video I'll show you 10 interesting internet services which you have never heard of. There will be services for leisure and entertainment, useful tools to make your life more convenient or to improve the security of your PC and accounts. Here we go! Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. In fact, there are lots of interesting tools and services on the Internet. Of course, I can't cover all of them in a single video, so I decided to show 10 various services which seem the most interesting to me. The first one is a tool for checking your email address to make sure it has not been hacked. Have I been pwned.com? At least once a month, a large website is hacked on the Internet and thousands or even millions of accounts become available to hackers or even are leaked publicly. One of Microsoft officers, Troy Hunt, founded the website HaveIBeenPwned.com, where you can find out if your account has been hacked. To check your email, just type it into the special field and wait for the result. If your email is not listed as being at risk, you can relax, or subscribe for notifications in case your email address is ever registered as being compromised. If the worst thing happened, take care of its security in the three steps offered by this web resource. Especially for fans of retro gaming, Google lets them play one of the old titles right from the search engine window. Type Pac-Man in the search field and Google will suggest playing it with this interactive doodle. Just click on it and enjoy! By the way, Google Chrome users certainly know that when there is no internet connection, the browser suggests them to while away the time by playing T-Rex or Dino Runner online. Press space to start it and pass some time. Here is the third service. What can you do if the website you are interested in doesn't have the interface in the language you prefer? You can use the well-known Google Translate to have it translated from any other language. To do it, go to Google Translate, insert the address of the website you are interested in into the left field, for example, hetmanrecovery.com in English. Select the source language. English, now the target language, Russian. Click on the highlighted link in the right window and find yourselves on the already translated web page. It's cool that all links and buttons will work properly even after the translation. And you can do it to any website and for any language. Here comes service 4. You can use the Internet to find a lost or stolen Android smartphone. To do it, search the web for Find My Device. Select the corresponding service from the list. It will find your device and show its location on the map. Yet remember that for better results you need to sign in the Google account that your device is synced with. On our YouTube channel you can find a very detailed video on using this tool, so just follow the link in the description. The fifth service is for online gamers who may sometimes get bored. If you have grown tired of surfing social networks or watching tons of videos on YouTube, go to Google Images or type image in the search field and then type Atari Breakout. The search engine will automatically suggest you to play this game. Here is one more similar thing. If you type Zerg Rush in the search field, yellow and red Google letters O will start destroying the search results. You will have to click on the letters to stop them. There are other funny things and you can Google them if you are interested. Many people know what a QR code is and all of us have seen it a million times. If you need to create a QR code with a link to a website, email, a social media account, a text, a message, you can do it easily. There are many free services for that purpose and I will leave the links in the description. To use this tool, select the thing you want to create a QR code for. I especially like the idea of a QR code for connecting 
a Wi-Fi network. Just enter the required information into the special fields and generate the QR code. Download the QR code and place it wherever you need. As a result, you will never have to dictate the name and password to your Wi-Fi network to other people. They will be able to connect by just scanning this QR code. There are lots of apps to scan the code, so install one of them and scan the code with no difficulty. Now let's move to number 7. While using social media or accounts with other resources, we often sign in to an account automatically by using the password saved by the system. Yet sometimes, when you decide to change such a password, you may find out you have forgotten the current password, and it is only shown as dots or asterisks. To view it, right-click on the field with a hidden password and select Inspect. In the highlighted line of the web page code, find the line password and double-click on it. Change it by the word text and press Enter. As a result, it will be displayed in the password field instead of the dots. By the way, you can see all the passwords, and not only those to your accounts, but also those belonging to other users of a specific computer with Hetman Internet Spy. Just scan the browser with this program and it will show you all the passwords ever entered in this browser, as well as browsing history and many other things. Find the download link in the description. Number 8. Some people don't like to work or even rest in complete silence. Sometimes all of us prefer to hear some discrete noise, for example the sound of the tide, birds singing in the forest, waterfall, crackling of, of wood in the fire, a cat purring. It's interesting to know that the talk of the crowd or the restaurant noise is also on this list. With comfortivity, you can disengage yourselves from the, from the surroundings and relax completely. Some may work more effectively and some may even take a nap. Find the link below the video. Number 9. Very often removing an account with a social network or another resource can become a difficult task. It may be quite a challenge to find this option in the settings. But don't get upset. With the resource just delete.me, you can get right onto the page where you can delete an account. And it doesn't matter if you deal with a social network, an online store, or with any other website. To do it, go to just delete.me and find the website where you want to remove your account from, for example, Facebook. Click on it and get right to the web page here where your account can be removed. Just confirm your decision and that's all. The only thing to pay attention to is uh, that you should be logged in from this particular account that you are going to remove. Make sure you are going to delete the proper account. To finish the top 10, I'll tell you about the several useful functions of the Google search engine. By the way, other search engines like Yandex have similar features too. If you type calculator in the search field, the search engine will show you quite a good online calculator. If you type a query to convert a certain amount of money from one currency into another, the search engine will give you the result at the current exchange rate. The same happens when you need to convert some units of measurement. And if you type definition after a word, Google will work as an explanatory dictionary. And so on. You can try it for yourselves. There are many other interesting functions in today's search engines. That is all, but only in this video, because there are tons of other interesting stuff on the internet, you know, uh, and so hit the like button below if this video was interesting for you and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.